about, you've got the front valve control block for the suspension off of Discovery 3. I've already undone a couple of these. These are Torx 20 bits. They're not in very tight. So very straightforward and easy to get out. Just keep your thumb there to keep the two parts together in case it decides to spring apart and you lose pieces. That's one. That's three, and then there's four. Okay, two halves of the control block will come apart like so. Just give it a bit of a wiggle if you need to. Okay, two halves. Okay, if you see a load of white dust here, it's indicating that there may be some further leaks or the silica gel within the compressor is breaking down. There's two different types of valves. These end ones are the same, the centre one is slightly different. Take the end one out first, just wiggle it a little bit. You can see there is one, two, three washers. Okay. This type you may get a load of white dust around there. You need to make sure that you clean that off if you do. Uh, if you have seen a load of white dust, then as I said earlier, it indicates that your silica gel within your compressor is breaking down and potentially going to fail, uh, which is all good news, of course. Um, this can come apart further if you, I don't know whether you can quite see that. Let's see, yeah, I should be able to see that there. If you twist it to the wrong place, that will come apart further there. Um, if you leave it like that, when it's in there, it's going to fail, so your rebuild won't work. So you just need to make sure that you've clipped them together, so that then is tight. So make sure that's all clean, put the washers back on. Three washers there, hole in the centre. Just Make sure that's not got a load of white dust in there. This other one is exactly the same, but this centre one is different. Okay, centre one that's remained in there. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could take that out, but I'm not going to bother for this quick rebuild. We've got the same type of start piston, a bit of plastic, small rubber seal, and then an internal piston within it. In this one, you've also got a small spring. Okay, don't lose that spring. Make sure that goes back in. You can see that there, hopefully. A small rubber around the top and large rubber seal at the bottom, and it just slots in there like that. Okay, again, this one is the same as the first. I've already cleared it out, so we don't need to worry about that. If there's a load of white in there, again, indicative of your silica breaking down within your compressor. So I'll put these two end ones on. And just go back in, just push them in, make sure the red seal is all the way around the outside. It's not crimped anywhere, that's all good. And I find it easier to put this one back in the center. Put it back in the center, just make sure that it springs okay. Yep, that's springing fine and then put them together like so. So you will find that spring is helping to keep it apart, so just push it together and then put the screws back in. You don't need to uh, really force these up tight, just hand tight is fine. Oh, 
and there you go, taken apart, put back together. I'll put it on the car in a minute and uh, hopefully it should all work. Thanks, bye.